Hello Scorpio, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Scorpio, Sun Rising and Venus. Okay. So we do have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And then we also have keep an open mind and then we also have new love and then we also have this could be the one. It kind of feels like somebody's like in a 9 of wands like energy. Actually, you know what? Let me find the 9 of wands and I'll kind of show you roughly what I'm kind of getting here off of this overall energy because I'm kind of getting like the 9 of wands meets like the ace of cups. So let me actually find those cards and then I'll come right back. Okay, it didn't take me too long to find these two cards, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm getting primarily off of this overall energy that's showing up here for you, Scorpio. It kind of looks like love is showing up here for you, and it could very well be coming from someone new or somebody that you already have a lot of history with. We're going to really see, though, if it is coming from someone new or somebody that you already have a lot of history with, but it kind of looks like love is showing up here for you, and it kind of looks like you're a little bit on the fence about it, and if it is coming from somebody that you already have a lot of history with Scorpio I kind of feel like the main reason why you're on the fence about you know this connection um, and this opportunity could have a lot to do with everything that you experience within this connection with this person um, in the past but if this is coming from someone fairly new I do kind of feel like the reason why you are on the fence about this entire connection could have a lot to do with, you know, past experiences that you've had with other people that are causing you to kind of feel like you kind of have to be extremely guarded um, towards this new person. But let's kind of get into your reading and see what else we can get here. But this is kind of what I'm getting primarily off of this overall energy that's showing up here for you with make the effort coming out here. I do kind of feel like spirits trying to like get you to lower your guard down and embrace this opportunity that's being presented to you for the vast majority of you it could very well be coming from somebody fairly new yeah i feel like spirit's trying to get you to kind of lower your guard down and embrace this opportunity here for yourself but it kind of looks like you're a little bit too fearful to go there um and it could have a lot to do with like i said the past experiences that you've experienced with other people what just flew out? The Ace of Cups. We'll take it. Um, but yeah, let's look into your overall energy and see what's going on with you. And then we'll jump over to your person's overall energy and see what's going on with them. Keep in mind, time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check out your other placements. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Page of Wands, we have the uh, Ace of Cups, and then we also have the Star out here for you. Like I said, Scorpio, love is definitely showing up here for you, and it kind of looks like you've been waiting uh, for a connection like this to show up here for you for quite some time. I'm just kind of worried and concerned that you might push this opportunity away due to your own doubts and reservations. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you don't. But it kind of looks like you've been waiting for... A connection like this to show up here for you for quite some time we'll see I guess how you respond and react to it because that's what I'm more so concerned about when it comes down to you is you kind of turning around and pushing this really good opportunity away uh, from you due to fear and your own doubts and your own reservations but love is definitely showing up here for you love is definitely showing up here for you it kind of looks like in the recent past though let me, if I can just pick these cards up, Jesus. It kind of looks like in the recent past, um, you were in a very toxic and unhealthy marriage or relationship here with someone. There was a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a whole lot of not seeing eye to eye. Uh, for the vast majority of you, you could have felt like you were the only one really trying to keep your relationship with this person from your past intact and afloat. So for some of you, you could have literally been the only one really fighting in this relationship uh, to keep it, you know, in intact and afloat, um, sort of speak, but it kind of looks like you reached your breaking point within this marriage or this relationship that you were once upon a time in, and it kind of looks like you decided to leave. It kind of looks like you decided to leave, but it looks like, you know, you're, you're very determined to, you know, kind of leave the past in the past and just move forward and move on with your life. But a really good opportunity is presenting itself to you. I'm just really concerned like how you're going to respond and react to it. I guess we'll see. Um, but let's look at this person that's showing up here for you. It's not coming from somebody that you have a lot of history with, though. It's coming from somebody new. How does this person currently view this relationship? Interesting. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Seven of Cups. And then we also have the Five of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Swords as well as the World. I don't feel like I'm picking up on this new person that's showing up here for you to the right of me. So once I'm done breaking this person's overall energy down, which I do believe it's the person that you were once upon a time romantically involved with, I'm going to come right back to this Ace of Cups to see what else I can get off of this connection that's showing up here for you slash person that's showing up here for you. But let's break this person from your past's overall energy down. They're still very much so lingering in your energy field. That's one thing that I am getting. Um primarily off of this person's overall energy but let's talk uh with the world to the seven of swords to the uh five of cups coming out here for this person um it kind of looks like in the recent past they self-sabotaged uh this marriage or this relationship that they once upon a time had with you uh somehow some way now with the five of cups coming out here um i do feel like this person does have a lot of regret and remorse over whatever it is that they said and or did to cause this marriage or this relationship to go south here between the two of you but i am kind of getting like an overall energy of them kind of feeling a little bit lost is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here it's kind of like an energy of like okay i ruined things with scorpio now what am i gonna do hmm now what am I going to do with my life? Now what am I going to do? It has that type of um, feel to it. It's like the best way that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here. But with the Wheel of Fortune coming out here uh, for this person, this is really interesting to me. I'm kind of curious as to why they're actually getting the Wheel of Fortune. So I do want to break down the Wheel of Fortune um, a little bit more just to kind of see what else I can get here. But it's kind of interesting to me that the Wheel of Fortune is actually coming out here for this person. The Wheel of Fortune does speak of destiny. It kind of looks like, you know, the two of you were just destined to kind of part ways uh, with one another at some point. You know, maybe this is just, you know destiny at play you know that's definitely a possibility but let's look at the wheel of fortune nonetheless okay so we have the knight of pentacles we have the uh ten of swords and then we also have the uh queen of cups you know what's interesting scorpio you know what's kind of interesting is that i kind of feel like this person is a little bit how do i explain it it's like an overall energy of somebody feeling a little bit shocked and, and taken back by you and how you're deciding to like, you know, go about this entire situation. It's as if like this person thought that you would never go anywhere is like what I'm kind of gathering here from this person's overall energy. But it's like, what else were they expecting to happen? You know what I mean? It's like, what else was this person expecting to happen here? You know, um, I just kind of feel like in the past you have forgiven this person for a lot of things. And maybe they thought that this last thing that they did, you would turn around and forgive them. But it kind of looks like it didn't necessarily play out that way. It kind of looks like it didn't necessarily play out that way because I kind of feel like for a while... Because the Wheel of Fortune, it also speaks of things going in your favor, right? Like, I kind of feel like for a while, this person has made a lot of mistakes while being in this marriage or this dynamic that they share with you. And you've always turned around and forgiven them. Um, so it kind of looks like this entire situation, you know, it was playing out in this person's favor for quite some time. Because you would always turn around and, you know, take them back or forgive them. Um, but it kind of looks like this time around... This entire situation is no longer playing out in this person's favor. And they're a little bit shocked and surprised by it. They're a little bit shocked and surprised by it. It's as if they 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 essentially thought that you would never leave them or go anywhere. Which is kind of making me feel like maybe, maybe in the past you could have told this person, Scorpio, like, that's it. I'm done with you. I don't want anything to do with you. Never want to see your face ever again in my life. Um, but then like a week later, you'll turn around and take them back and forgive them. It just kind of looks like you were caught up in a very vicious cycle, I would say, um, with this person. But it kind of looks like for a while, this entire situation, it was really playing out in their favor. You know, as far as like them making their mistakes and you turning around and kind of giving them what they want, which is basically, you know, forgiveness and stuff like that. But it kind of looks like you're not doing that. It kind of looks like you're not doing that this time around. And they're a little bit, 
shocked and uh, taken back by it is like the best way that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here. I'm not actually sure what cards originally came out here for this person, We're, but I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. Let's keep going. I do want to look at this Ace of Cups. I want to look at this opportunity that's showing up here for you, though, Scorpio. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Okay, so we have Judgment. We also have the uh, Strength card to the Page of Cups. And then we also have the Knight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Swords to the Three of Pentacles to the Emperor. This person might be slightly older than you, or you might be slightly older than them. Um, if this person's not slightly older than you they might just have more life experience than you do is kind of what i'm getting primarily but nonetheless you do have somebody showing up here for you and it is somebody who does want to come together uh with you and build towards a relationship with you is what i'm kind of getting primarily now with the knight of wands to the page of cups so the strength card to the judgment card coming out here for this overall energy uh, that we're seeing here for this person, um, I feel like this person and this connection that you're gonna find yourself in, it's gonna bring, it's gonna bring a lot of like excitement, I would say, into your life. It's gonna really push you outside of your comfort zone, but in a very, very positive way is what I'm kind of getting off of this connection that's showing up here for you. And it has a lot to do with the way that they are as an individual. Like, you know, this is that type of person that likes to go out and likes to have fun and likes to travel and, you know, things of that nature. So with that being said, I do believe that this relationship that's showing up here for you, it is going to bring a lot of like fun and excitement into your life. Um, you're going to find yourself experiencing new experiences here um, in life, but with this person by your side. But I'm getting like a lot of fun and excitement off of this person. This person kind of comes off to me as somebody who might like to travel, like to go out a lot and have fun. And that in itself might be, how do I say this? That in itself might be a little bit of a new experience for you, especially for like my homebodies out there. Like maybe you don't like to really go out or travel a whole lot. Maybe you just like to be at home all the time. But I feel like you're going to find yourself experiencing new experiences here um, in life with this person by your side. But it has a lot to do with the way that they are as an individual. So if you're like a homebody, I do see you kind of meeting your complete opposite is kind of what I'm gathering. You know, this is that type of person that likes to go out, likes to have fun, likes to travel, likes to try new things, you know, things of that nature. So I do believe that throughout your involvement with this person you're going to find yourself experiencing new experiences because of the way that they are as a person the way that they like to live life and enjoy life so i do kind of feel like you're going to find yourself having some really fun and exciting moments here uh with this person all right what else can you tell me for scorpio how does scorpio currently feel Got the Ace of Pentacles, we got the King of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ten of Swords to the Temperance card. There's a reason why this connection is showing up here for you. It's just a matter of you trusting it, Scorpio. You know, my biggest concern and worry when it comes down to you is you giving into your own doubts and reservations because I was kind of getting the Nine of Wands um, off of your overall energy, and now we have the Ten of Swords. So I'm starting to become a little bit worried and concerned here because I feel like for some of you, you might start to allow your own doubts and reservations to get the best of you. There's something about this person pushing you outside of your comfort zone that might cause you to kind of feel like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can pursue this. I don't know if I can do this. You know, and just using that example as like you being a homebody and then you attaching yourself to somebody who isn't a homebody. Like, you know, that in itself can definitely push you outside of your comfort zone and make you feel extremely uncomfortable to the point where you might start to think to yourself like, ooh, I can't do this. This is a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Um, it's really important... Scorpio, I can't emphasize this enough, dude. Like, it's really important that you don't allow your own doubts and reservations to get the best of you within this dynamic um, that you currently find yourself in or you will eventually find yourself in. There is a reason with temperance coming out here why this person in particular is being divinely guided towards you. There's a reason why this opportunity is showing up here for you. We're going to kind of break temperance down a little bit more just to see what else we can get here as far as like the reason why, you know what I mean? This connection is showing up here for you. Um, I do kind of feel you're gonna benefit 
um, a whole lot from your involvement here uh, with this person. And it has a lot to do with, you know, you experiencing life in ways that you haven't necessarily experienced life before, but in a very positive way. We're going to look at temperance. I'm going to be using a different tarot deck um, to clarify the temperance card. Um, with the cards in the upright as well as in the reverse. Tell me more about temperance for Scorpio, someone rising in Venus. You could have a Sagittarius gravitating towards you or a Taurus gravitating towards you. Tell me more about temperance for Scorpio, someone rising in Venus. Ooh. Mm-mm-mm. Hi, Scorpio. Okay. All right. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the King of Pentacles here at the heart of your reading on your side. So you're definitely connecting with a soulmate. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you're very compatible with. You're definitely connecting with somebody of your caliber. In other words, this person brings just as much to the table as you do, my friend. So this relationship is going to be a very equal give and take relationship that we're seeing here uh, between you and this person. All right, but let's talk about uh, what just came out here for you. Okay, not only are you going to find yourself experiencing life in ways that you've never actually experienced life before in a very positive way, I also kind of feel like one thing that you are going to learn throughout your involvement with this person is how important it is to essentially walk by faith and not by sight, okay, is what I'm getting primarily. With the moon being out here to the nine of swords um, attached to your overall energy, this is just basically insinuating that you're that type of person you're just that type of person that doesn't do well in the level of the unknown. You just don't do well with the level of the unknown or in the level of the unknown. You know, for me as a reader, the moon is like the what if card. You know, what if this happens? And then what if that happens? And then what am I going to do? Like, you know, it's that what if card for me as a reader. This entire experience is going to teach you how to walk by faith and not by sight. You may not know how the story ends here between you and this person, but you're being divinely guided to walk this path with this person either which way. Spirit understands that you have your doubts, your reservations, and your mind is consumed with the whole what if this happens and what if that happens. Spirit completely understands that. But this connection is going to really teach you how to walk by faith and not necessarily by sight. And that's basically what the moon represents. Um is walking by faith and not necessarily by sight. Um, so I do kind of feel like throughout your involvement with this person, this whole, you know, mentality of needing to know absolutely everything and the ins and outs of absolutely everything, um, you're going to learn how to not live life in that manner or in that way. Because I feel like you guys have this mentality of, well, I just need to know everything and I just need to know like how this is going to play out and what's going to happen. Like that type of mentality of needing to know absolutely everything will essentially dissipate over time throughout the course of your involvement here with this person. And it is coming from a place of wanting to control the situation with the strength card coming out here. You want to control like, you know, what happens here between, you know, the two of you, you know, it has that type of feel to it. You just want to be in control as far as like knowing, you know, the ins and outs of absolutely everything when it comes down to your relationship here um, with this person. But if it's one thing that I will say is this. The fact that we have the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups, we got the star out here. Now we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance card coming out here. One thing that I will say is that the two of you are basically destined for greatness here. And even though I'm saying, you know, the two of you are destined for greatness and you're going to witness that with your own two eyes, you're still going to find yourself in this overall energy of like, but I don't know me that goes because, you know, what if this happens and what if that happens and, you know, what if they hurt me and what if, you know, the what if this and what if that, right? Um... You're going to find yourself, you know, experiencing that. And that is going to be your biggest challenge, dude, when it comes down to this opportunity is presenting itself to you. It's just simply taking things day by day and not obsessing over the, but what if this happens? And what if that happens? And what's going to happen, you know, two years from now or 20 years from now? You know, things of that nature. You know, spirit just wants you to learn how to live in the now and just take things day by day and not obsess or worry about well, what's going to happen two years from now or 20 years from now you know what I mean um so that's going to be your biggest challenge I would say um 
with this person. It's going to be your biggest freaking challenge, but I, I have faith. I have faith, Scorpio, that eventually you will let go of the constant need to know absolutely everything and the ins and outs of everything and what's going to happen 20 years from now or 50 years from now. Like you will eventually let go of that, you know, mentality and that way of being and you will eventually learn how to just take things day by day you know what i mean instead of obsessing you know what i mean over what's going to happen like 20 years from now or 10 years from now the bottom of the deck we do have the queen of pentacles e. we have the ten of swords we have the five of swords with the seven of swords with the temperance card and then we also have the devil Ooh. okay let's talk it kind of looks like prior well we were just talking about this person and i'm like what, what, what am i doing here it kind of looks like your relationship with this person uh to the right of me um is still something that's kind of affecting you i would say till this day to the point where i do kind of see it slightly affecting you within this dynamic that you share here with this person you know again the what if they cheat on me what if they do me the same way this one did then what am i going to do like you know it does kind of have that feel what if i'm signing myself up to go through the same shit all over again like it has that type of feel to it but with temperance coming out here and it's coming out here twice for you you know temperance trumps the devil every single time so the fact that you have temperance come out here twice for you that's just basically insinuating that you clearly have you clearly have spirit looking out for you you clearly have spirit looking out here for you you clearly have spirit um watching over you that's one thing that i will say that's one thing that i will say i feel like you know spirit definitely pulled you out of this toxic and unhealthy relationship here with this person i feel like spirit honestly gave you the strength and the courage to get up and walk away um and it kind of looks like you know spirit has been looking out for you uh for quite some time now so with that being said this is like spirit's way of saying like yo like trust me i got your back because it kind of looks like spirit has always had your back every single time Today is not the day to start doubting that, you know what I mean? Because this person is showing up here for you, you know what I mean? Like, trust the fact that spirit really does have your back. Because it kind of looks like spirit has saved you from a lot of unfortunate situations. And that is something to honestly be grateful for. But you clearly have... You might have somebody who passed over that's, you know, watching over you because I am kind of getting that as well. A Scorpio, it might be a father figure, a mother figure, a grandmother figure, a grandfather figure. Um... I just got chills. But uh, yeah, I am kind of getting that. But overall, I feel like you got spirit looking out for you. I feel like spirit has saved you from a lot of unfortunate situations. So with that being said, just know spirit has your back. Also too, Scorpio, you know, right now is not the time to start questioning spirit and whether or not spirit has your back when it comes down to this entire situation because spirit definitely does. Spirit definitely does. But it just feels like spirit wants you to stop this whole needing to be in control, needing to know the ins and outs of absolutely everything and needing to know what's going to happen 20 years from now, 10 years from now. Like spirit just wants you to learn how to just take things day by day. That is literally it. Just take things day by day. Take things slowly if you have to uh, with this person. But like I said, throughout the course of your involvement here with this person, your biggest challenge is going to just be that. Learning how to take things day by day and stop obsessing over the, but what if this happens and the, what if that happens? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? How does this person currently feel? Okay, let's see, you guys. Ooh. Ooh. E. All right. We got the five of wands. We got the nine of pentacles. And then we also have the uh, death card. This is a very interesting energy to me. Let's rewind for a second. This person goes from, I ruined absolutely everything with Scorpio. Now what am I going to do with my life? They don't want anything to do with me. This sucks. Life sucks. Everything sucks right now, right? But this is interesting to me because I feel like this person's really pissed off at you. That you're done with them and that you don't want anything to do with them. With the Nine of Pentacles, I don't feel like this is their energy. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this person's still kind of keeping tabs on you to a certain degree. Don't ask me how they're keeping tabs on you. But I feel like they are kind of keeping tabs 
on you and they see that you're in a much better place now than you've ever been when you were with them and they're kind of pissed off because of that too it's, it's interesting because i feel like this person's pissed off because you're done with them and that you don't want anything to do with them and they're also kind of pissed off that you're happy without them now, I don't really know because it doesn't make logical sense to me anyways, but I don't really fully understand why this person's upset that you don't want anything to do with them considering the fact that they went from acknowledging the fact that, oh man, I ruined everything with Scorpio. Now they don't want me back. Now what am I going to do with my life? Like, I'm not entirely sure why they're pissed off at you that you don't want anything to do with them. Like, I feel like they know why you don't want anything to do with them. I feel like they they, they are fully aware as to why you don't want anything to do with them. But as far as like why they're pissed off that you don't want anything to do with them is kind of beyond me i can't really give you an explanation as to why this person's pissed off that you don't want anything to do with them but you know I, listen i don't know that i don't know that doesn't make logical sense to me but tell me more about the nine of pentacles yeah yep 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 yeah oh yeah oh yeah it kind of looks like you are doing 10 times better. Okay. It kind of looks like you are doing 10 times better now that you freed yourself from this relationship. And then again, you know, this relationship did have the devil attached to it. It did have the devil attached to it. And then we had temperance come out here for your for you twice, which is just basically insinuating that throughout the course of your involvement here with this person, spirit has been telling you for quite some time that you need to walk away, you need to walk away, you need to walk away. I feel like Spirit has been sending you signs and, you know, all that stuff. Trying to get you to walk away from this, you know, relationship that you once upon a time had here with this person. It kind of looks like you finally decided to, like, you know, pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to what Spirit's trying to, like, communicate to you in regards to your involvement here uh, with this person to the right of me. But let's let's carry on. Yeah, it kind of looks like you are doing 10 times better now that you freed yourself uh, from this connection here. I feel like you finally got your peace of mind back is what I'm also kind of getting. I feel like throughout the course of your involvement here with this person, you were, stress you were stressing out quite a bit. Um... You were definitely stressing out quite a bit, but I feel like the moment you freed yourself from this entire connection, you finally got your peace of mind back. You finally got your peace of mind back. And on top of that, you got love showing up here for you. So it kind of looks like things are really falling into place here for you. For some of you, you could have recently received a promotion possibly at work or even a raise at work, but I just kind of feel like the moment you decided to like officially free yourself from this connection it kind of looks like things started to just magically fall into place here for you in a very positive way in regards to work in regards to your finances in regards to you know your peace of mind um as well as love as well as love it just kind of looks like everything started to kind of fall into place here for you the moment you freed yourself from this connection in a variety of different ways so good for you good for you all right let's keep going what actions it's like they can't stand to see you happy without them. It's kind of what I'm getting off of this person's overall energy. It's like they just can't stand to see you happy. I am so fucking proud of you. You just don't understand. Because I was really worried and concerned about you uh, in regards to this opportunity that's presenting itself to you. But now that I'm getting this combo here for you, you don't understand how fucking proud I am. Uh, with the Ace of, not the Ace of Cups, with the Queen of Cups to the Three of Wands to the Nine of Cups coming out here, this is you deciding to not continue to live life in the ways that you've been living it. As far as, you know, you constantly feeling the need to like control everything and needing to know the ins and outs and every, of everything. And, you know, what's going to happen 20 years from now? What's going to happen 50 years from now? You know, all of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're finally letting that go. You're finally putting that all behind you. So we kind of see you... Now deciding, you know what, I'm just going to take things day by day with this person. And you know what, whatever happens, happens. I know spirit has my back. So this is you learning to essentially walk by faith and not necessarily by sight. We also see you embracing this connection here. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, four wands. Now, this relationship, okay, honey, this relationship between you and this person, it could definitely lead to marriage. Four of Wands does speak of marriage. Uh, so it could definitely lead to marriage. It could definitely lead to higher levels of commitment. But this connection that's showing up here for you, 
it's going to drastically change your life, but in a very freaking positive way. And it's because you're realizing, you're kind of realizing, Scorpio, that you do kind of have this constant need to control absolutely everything. And that's okay. Like, I kind of feel like we're all kind of like that. You're not the only human being, right? That's like that. I feel like we all kind of have that that urge to like want to control things and want to know absolutely everything. Um, so this is you kind of realizing how that way of being has honestly affected you possibly within this last relationship that you were in, or maybe even this connection that you currently find yourself in or that you will eventually find yourself in. But the fact that you're getting rid of your old self is actually causing you to find it so easy to actually embrace this connection that's currently showing up here for you without fucking fear. Like, this is like a whole new you, my friend. This is like a whole fucking new you. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You're kind of in this energy of, you know what? <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Like, if it works out, then it works out. If it blows up in my face, and it blows up in my face. That's just what, you know what's supposed to happen then you know what i mean if in the event it does blow up in your face which i don't believe it will but this is again this is you learning how to walk by faith and not necessarily by sight this is you learning how to kind of take things day by day because we listen tomorrow is not promised to absolutely anybody in this life you know what i mean so there is no point of worrying about what's going to happen 20 years from now like worry about it when it actually happens if it does actually happen you know as far as like your worries and concerns when it comes down to this person and what they might do to you or whatever the case may be um worry about it then if it actually does happen you know what i mean um but i like this new you i like this new you a lot what actions Let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. Okay. In regards to what actions this person plans on taking towards you or moving forward, we have the Tower. We have the Four of Swords for them as well as the Eight of Cups for them. Okay. So in regards to how this person plans on moving forward, I do see this person eventually making peace with the simple fact that this relationship between you and them it's over and done with. At this point, I don't feel like there's anything that this person can say or do to change your mind about how you view them and how you feel about them. No, like I kind of feel like this person's finally starting to just accept the fact that, you know what? I messed up, shouldn't have done what I did. It is what it is. I'm, you know, I made my bed, now I gotta lay in it. Like it just is what it is. So I do see this person, you know, for the most part, just moving into a place of acceptance here when it comes down to the relationship that they once upon a time had with you. You know, if it's one thing that I will say, because we do have the world coming out here for this person, the world, it does speak of major life lessons. So because this person self-sabotaged things here between the two of you, it did teach them a valuable lesson in the process of it all. So even though unfortunately they did you the way that they did you, moving forward, I see them making it a priority to not make the same mistake again within the next relationship that they uh, essentially are going to find themselves in because they will eventually move forward and move on with their life. That's kind of besides the point here. But I do see them making it a priority to not make the same mistakes that they basically made with you with the next person that they get involved uh, with. So... With that being said, Scorpio, I'm really happy that, you know, you're doing away with the old you. I'm really happy that you're just learning to just kind of walk more so by faith and not necessarily by sight anymore and just learning how to just kind of take things day by day. Like I said, I was really worried and concerned about you because I'm like, oh my God, I really hope that you do not push this opportunity away from you, but it doesn't look like you are. It doesn't look like you are going to push this opportunity away from you. If anything, I see you being open and receptive to it and just taking things day by day. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? If it, if things work out in the end between the two of you, then things work out. If it doesn't, then it just wasn't meant to be. You know what I mean? Like That's the energy that you're going to find yourself harnessing moving forward. But one thing that I absolutely love about, and I'm kind of getting chills talking about you, but one of the things that I absolutely love about you, Scorpio, moving forward is that 
you're not giving into your own doubts and your own reservations anymore like you used to um, in the past because it kind of looks like you did that quite a bit to the point where maybe in the past you self sabotage a lot of you know really good opportunities for yourself because you would give into the whole but what if this happens and what if that happens and what if they hurt me and you know I don't want to get hurt again so let me just push them away like those days are fucking over you know what I mean like those days are freaking over so I'm really happy uh, for you like I said this relationship between you and this person, man, it could lead to marriage. It could totally lead to marriage. If not, a full-blown committed relationship. But I'm kind of getting marriage. Kind of getting marriage. I kind of want to be a little nosy and look a little bit more into this. Let's look at the four of wands. Actually, no. Let's look at your king of pentacles. Because I don't feel like I really talked to a lot about them. Let's see. So we have the uh, Five of Swords, we got the Ten of Swords, we got the Lovers, and then we also have the uh, Devil out here. This is interesting because you guys did not show up. Did you guys show up? No, you guys didn't. No, you guys didn't show up. Oh, because I was like, did you guys show up as a King and the Queen of Wands? And I was like, no, you guys didn't show up as a, but this one over here is showing up as a King of Wands. So they're a King of Wands slash King of Pentacles. That makes sense. Makes sense. Because I was like, wait, did you guys show up as a King and the Queen of Wands? Because this kind of feels like a relationship between a King and a Queen of Wands. So I'll be honest, okay? When it comes down to what you could possibly anticipate slash expect out of this entire situation. So that way you're prepared and you know what's up, right? You're dealing with a King of Wands slash King of Pentacles like energy. King of Pentacles is that Taurus energy. It's somebody who is just known for being very territorial, okay? Uh, very territorial. So I feel like this person is going to be very territorial for you. I do kind of feel though, I do kind of feel, and this all kind of depends on the type of human that you are and whether or not you like this stuff or not. But I do kind of feel like this person... Yes, they're very territorial, but also very possessive. Also very possessive. They also kind of strike me as like the jealous type. Now, some people like that stuff. Some people don't like that stuff. Some people like when people are that borderline crazy about them. And some people don't like that shit. Uh, it's up to you, you know, whether or not that's you like that stuff or not. Um, but yeah, this one over here does kind of come off to me as somebody who... Yeah, is a little territorial and like possessive over you. They also kind of strike me as like the jealous type on top of that. Like in other words, if this if this person, right, caught not I wouldn't say caught you talking to another guy or another girl. Like if this person saw like some guy trying to talk to you or some girl trying to talk to you, all hell might just break loose. You know what I mean? Because of how like you know, possessive and like territorial, uh, they actually are. So some of y'all might think that's, oh, that's so cute. Look, you know, they just punched this person in the throat because they just came over here to talk to me. Some of y'all might like that stuff. Some of y'all may not like that stuff, but I mean, they, they really like you. <laughs> I mean, I'll say that. Like, they really do like you. This combo alone does kind of represent somebody who is kind of madly in love with a person to the point where their love can kind of turn a little toxic but like I said some of y'all out there y'all might like that stuff you know what I mean and some of y'all may not like that stuff but you're just gonna have to deal with it Scorpio if you do decide to deal with this person you're just gonna have to deal with it okay you're just gonna have to deal with it like I said you know if some guy tries to come up to you and talk to you or some girl I'm not saying that they're gonna punch them in the throat hopefully they don't you know what I mean but you you know it's like you might find that cute like oh they just punched such and such in the throat because they came over here to talk to me hopefully they don't punch anybody in the throat my god but this is just me being funny right I'm just being funny but they, they kind of come off to me as like the jealous type like they don't want anybody talking to you or trying to be around you or anything like that so yeah they you know, yeah they do kind of come off to me as somebody who's a little crazy about you um to the point where yeah they may not want any freaking guy talking to you or any girl talking to you you know what i mean as far as this human being is concerned you belong to them you literally belong to them you are their package you belong to them you are their property so no they they, they don't want anybody talking to you you know what i mean but outside of that they seem like a nice person like they seem like a nice person they're very committed and devoted to you and what they want here with you i mean king of wands to the hierophant to the two of wands honey this is somebody who's very dead set on you and what they want here with you they're not indecisive about you whatsoever they know exactly what they basically want here with you now can they be a little borderline crazy about you 
Yes, absolutely. But some of y'all may like that stuff. Some of you may not like that stuff. You know, I mean, I think that that's something they can work on if you don't like stuff like that. Like, you know, somebody being like overly protective and territorial and possessive. Like, if you don't like that stuff about this person, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a conversation you guys can have. And maybe, maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't. But, you know, outside of that, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. So with that being said, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And uh, I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.